Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with a video discussing a simple but incredibly effective tactic that can improve your overall game whilst playing Battlefield 1 or any other first person shooter. If you like getting multi kills, scoring a ton of points and opening a cold one with the boys, turn up your volume and put on a pair of these malakas because things are about to get real. A wide range of tactics are combined together when hitting those big scores in multiplayer shooters, but one of the most effective and simple to master is the art of flanking or really navigating your way around the map in general. It is so much easier to shoot people in the back as opposed to taking them head on, so it is vital you try and avoid choke points wherever possible. See this picture of the map St Quentin's Scar. I have used red to indicate the high traffic areas that you should try and avoid, blue arrows to indicate some smart flank routes you could navigate to avoid an unnecessary and risky firefight, and of course green to draw a picture of some boobs, because, you know, I have the maturity of a 12 year old. Take this Argon Forest clip where my team is pushed back to the D trench. They are being pinned down harder than Chris Rock if he was in a threesome with Ronda Rousey and Hagrid. This is a classic choke point situation with soldiers on each team exchanging volleys of bullets with one another. All the while, both sides have a lot of trouble making any forward ground. I use a sneaky map position and the cover of the rocks to get the drop on these first enemies. It is important that before I push up to the next objective, I ensure to flank back around and help my teammates who are trying to push through other sections of the map. This is a simple task of unloading my MG15's 100 bullets of justice into a bunch of clueless fuckers. My whole team starts to push up as my flankers help clear out the threat, and thus, we can all move in together and capture more flags as one happy family. Flanking sometimes goes off without a hitch, but you will still often have to win a couple of one-on-one -on -one gunfights whilst you are taking your route. Due to the fact that you are often in low traffic areas of the map, enemies simply won't be expecting to run into you. You can win many of these gunfights simply by being more aware than your opposition. Whilst they have their hands in their pants, make sure you have yours on the trigger and be ready to blow their unaware ass the fuck out of here. You can see in the clip playing now, I really have no trouble killing these guys as they just aren't expecting me to be here. I also recommend, after you have successfully flanked a squad, to send them a message saying that they are virgins and that you are danker than Ronald McDankle. <laughs> the fuck? Even for me, that was a bad joke. I was definitely being ironic. A builder is only as good as his tools. Therefore, if you want to flank most effectively, I would advise running as the support or assault class. This is so you can equip a fully automatic weapon which, in turn, will allow you to kill many targets in quick succession. A bolt action or semi-automatic gun might be okay for longer range flanks, but typically a gun with a high rate of fire will allow you to be in and out quickly. Just like losing your virginity, flanking is all about having a good time, not a long one. I hope this quick tip helps you out. I use this strategy all the time, especially when I am tired or my aim is off. You can easily back capture flags, get a heap of kills and become a true stealtho soldier with ease. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or subscribe if you are new to the channel. Otherwise, until next time and as always, stay classy.